Welcome to the Train Station Inn. We are here in beautiful Tatamagush, Nova Scotia, and we're going to be sleeping in this caboose back here. This is a real CN Railway train caboose. It was actually functional many, many years ago, and I'm sure they haven't upgraded much of it inside, so let's go have a look and see what our accommodations are. Let's do it. Nice little spot to sit. And you have your own little private driveway here. Over there is the rest of the hotel where you can go and eat. We'll check that out later. We definitely will. I'm really excited. There's these metal steps. Old Tommy, you gotta be careful. Okay, wow. Wow. Now this is really cool. I don't think this is what it was like back in the day when you rode this train. No. I don't think so, but this is beautifully refurbished. Nice little window here. Mm -hmm. Welcome mat for your shoes. A little futon here if you have some company staying over. Perfect for kids. <laughs> A nice little kitchenette area with wine glass and information on the actual train station inn. A little kitchenette area, tea and coffee. Some greenery. Covered here. Okay, oh, toaster, jury. Look at that. The sink is shimmering, nice and clean. Very clean. Oh, perfect. Oh, look at that. Lots of cups for you to use, so you can come here, you can cook, you can dine. Basically, yeah, you could just come in and just start living. Every, start, yeah, yeah. Basically, start living. Basically, everything's here waiting for you. Mini fridge. Now, look Whoa. at this. Whoa. Look at this. Really, really okay. cool. Let's start down here. Doop, 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 doop. What is this? What a cool little... Should I go up? I think you should. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you good? Yeah. It's uh, not easy to climb, but it's climbable. This is really cool. Here. Here, you go up. Ugh. Nice little view of the train station. Oh, yeah. Here. Little spot to sit, read a book. Have some coffee. You know, I'll do some work here if you have to. It is hey. pretty high up, as you can see. Um, but the best part of all, uh -huh. something that you can't see, speaking about reading a book, we have some books here. Looks like the pressure's pretty low. Oh, there's a couple of light switches here. Should I flick them? I don't know. I think. Uh, you know what? I, I actually can't reach them. Yeah. I fall down. I think it's a good thing. Come on Whoa. down. Whoa. All right. Come on down. AC here. It's, it's a pretty hot day today, so it's really nice to have. There's also a heating system in, installed as well. Look at Ryan struggling to go down. <laughs> uh, I'm not a conductor. Oh, my God. That is really cool. That is a really, really cool spot. Yeah. Okay. I'm we've got some closed doors here. here. Door number one. What's inside? Uh, a little stiff, but that's fine. There we go. Ooh, you got the ironing, hair dryer, toilet paper, lots of towel, nice clean toilet, little garbage there, toilet paper. Ooh, tiny sink, little toiletries in here. Hey guys, and we've got a nice size shower. This is really nice. It's got all the amenities you need, uh, which is what you kind of want when you stay overnight at a hotel, but not what you expect when you stay on an old decommissioned railway train. Here would be the bedroom. Yes, there's just these sliding doors. Ooh. Oh, there wow. we go. Now this is not how I pictured sleeping a train would look like. What? It wasn't? This was exactly how they did it back in the day. I believe it's a king size bed. A little coat hanger over there. Yeah, that's a that's, that's a good a size king bed. size bed. Two nightstands, flat screen TV outside our window. Nice little nightstand area. Some USB connectors. First impressions: the room, pretty surprising. Like I knew we were staying on a train, but I didn't think it was going to be like a a cottage inside of a train. That's what it is. A cottage inside of a train, like 
I came in here and I felt like comfortable and like just at ease. It truly feels like a cottage from the wood and just the, the decor in here. It's really is so comfortable, comforting, and just it's really nice. It's it's got all the amenities you need to stay not just for a day or two, to stay for a couple of days. Like you've got your area to cook, your area to eat, you've got all the plates and food that you want. Uh, but what I'm really curious about is what else is there here at the train station in and restaurant? Key part of that being the restaurant. Should we go find out? Let's go find out. Let's go. <laughs> We just got back from dinner from the train station in restaurant, and it was okay. The atmosphere was, was exactly what you expect. It was a train dining car. They, I don't know if they even retrofitted it. I'm sure they've made some adjustments to make it modernized, but I, I, I don't know what it used to look like back in the '70s when it right. was in operation. It's, it looked like how it would have. Yeah, I same. I would assume the same yeah. thing as well. It's kind of upscale for Padme Magush. The prices were a little higher than you'd find at all the other restaurants around town. Uh, and the quality of the food was, yeah, yeah, we, sure. We will say this. There was some adjustments to the menu because, because food ran out. There were about five or six main options available, and half of those are pasta dishes. I didn't really feel like pasta dish, so I looked for one that wasn't. I just ordered some lamb. And I should have read it better because the lamb was served on top of pasta. I also had a pasta dish. I wanted pasta. I thought it was pretty good. Our daughter had grilled cheese and some nacho chips. The grilled cheese was pretty good. Very cheesy. Very cheesy. If you have kids that love cheese, I think they would enjoy it. The first thing you'll be served will not disappoint. They come out with some homemade biscuits with some molasses butter. And that butter was nice and sweet. And the biscuits were warm. So warm. So sweet, so good. It, I think, was the highlight of the of the whole experience. To be honest, it was so good. But yeah, I think it's really neat to have this sort of hotel part, restaurant part. It's kind of like a small little village here, which is kind of nice. There's the antique store, the cafe. Feels like you're kind of in a resort like atmosphere. Overall, this is a cute little unique boutique hotel. Sleeping on a train is not what I thought it would be. Especially in the middle of Nova Scotia, this is not the type of quality accommodations I was expecting. The food could have been a bit better, but overall the experience was great. We really enjoyed the gift shop, and I would certainly recommend this spot. I completely agree. This was such a unique little vacation idea, and you're able to kind of have this really unique experience with your family. this video please hit like and subscribe for more travel content on trains on planes on boats and anything else that has beds on it and make sure to check out more of our videos by clicking the video on the screen thanks for subscribing um, i hope you have a nice day